Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is me writing an essay in one day. That's right folks, one day. I'm going to take you through my essay writing process and hopefully just give you some motivation and inspiration to get through the rest of finals if that's what you're going through right now. Okay, so let's get started. This essay was for my neuropsychology class and it is on AIDS or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So for this essay, I had like five different topics I had to cover. So what I did is created a table with the topic on one side and then any information I found about the topic on the other side. Of course, when you're writing a more professional research essay, it's important to use credible articles. So I went and I look on PubMed and just basically any database site and found some credible articles and then if I found information relaying to one of the topics I needed to talk about I would put the information on that side of the table and then I would highlight it a certain color so that way I would know oh this article is in this color and this article is in this color so that way when I went and I had to do in-text citations I knew exactly where the source was from. The research section of my essay writing always takes the longest and for good reason, because when writing this essay, I didn't even have background knowledge really on how viruses worked, so I had to do lots of prior research before I could even start researching for this essay. So yes, this is a long clip because this was a lot of work. To be fair though, I honestly kind of enjoyed this. I mean, I definitely would have wanted to be doing something else had I been given the choice, but I learned so much that the time seemed to go by really fast. And you can also see in the corner of my screen, I have an Elena Handrick video. I think it's one of her four hour study with me's. And those really help me to continue to stay motivated. Once I finished with the research, I got right on to drafting. Because I have my research organized with the topic on one side and research on that topic in another, I already have all of my sections of my essay kind of split up, so I don't really need to create an outline. And when I'm writing essays in such a short period of time, like a day or two days, this is a really nice step that I get to be able to skip, to go right from research to drafting, rather than from research to outline to drafting. Quick update, I just completed my first section on the brief definition and prevalence of AIDS. And if you can hear typing in the background, that's because I have this four-hour Elena Hendrick video that I'm slowly working through, you know. Hour and 44 minutes down, baby. Woohoo! I have 15 more minutes left before I get a break. So like I said, I had 15 more minutes to this break, so for this increment I worked for two hours and throughout the day I just changed the time increment that I wanted to work for. But the main point here is that you pick a time increment rather than saying, oh I have to finish this whole essay or this entire section. To me that can just be really demotivating, especially when I have so much work to do. So I love to just pick a time increment and then say, no matter how much I have done, I get to stop here. That I find to be much more motivating, but you kind of just have to see what works for you. Also, if you have to write a big essay like this, I recommend starting early in the day when you still have a lot of motivation. So I've accidentally worked for like almost 10 minutes over my two hour limit, so I'm gonna stop now. Um, this actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, you always build something up in your head, like, this project's going to be awful, it's going to be the worst thing ever, I'm going to hate every second that I'm doing it. But to be honest, procrastinating and the feeling you get when you know you're procrastinating is a whole heck of a lot worse than actually sitting down and doing something. And this isn't that bad, it's actually really interesting. Um, but I'm taking a break because I don't want to go completely brain dead. I have a lot more time that I need to work on this essay today yet. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to do some Duolingo on German and Spanish. I'm going to take this gross nail polish off my nails and then I'm going to eat lunch. As you can see, even during my breaks, I try to do things that are semi-productive, like getting a snack, doing some Duolingo, reading. They don't really involve things like YouTube videos. I tend to leave those for late afternoon or the night when I'm just really demotivated and I need something fun to do. 
but if my brain is still okay, I try to do something productive so I can stay in the productive mindset. All right, I just finished lunch and I made myself a vanilla almond black tea from the Republic of Tea, which is my favorite tea. And now I'm going back to working on my essay for another hour and 15 minutes until I do my workout at four o'clock. Working out is something that I definitely make time for, even on days like this where I only had one day to write an essay. This is because after working on an essay for so long, I inevitably just kind of run out of brain space and brain motivation, and I need to focus my brain on something else other than trying to stuff information into it. So physical exercise is the one thing that I found that just really helps me focus my brain on something entirely different and leaves me feeling refreshed and with renewed motivation. I highly recommend Fitness Blender for effective, timely workouts. And yes, I am still drafting in this clip. I just keep on drafting. It's kind of like keep on swimming, but less exciting. It's just gone past 4 o'clock, so I'm going to get ready for my workout and go work out outside because it's a really nice day outside today. After my workout and a shower, I grabbed an iced coffee and continued on with my drafting. You would not be I am incredibly excited to let you know that my rough draft is done. Yeah, that's right. I have way too much information and I still have to obviously put it in the correct format, put my sources in there, all that kind of stuff, but I still have another hour time slot that I've given myself to work on this essay and now it's break time. So for my break, I'm going to review a monologue a few times um, that I have for my acting class, and I'm also going to go ahead and read some of Jane Eyre, because I started it, and it's fantastic. I am loving Jane Eyre. It's so good, but I will say this is one book. Is that, okay, is that lighting slightly better? I mean, not really. I don't know. Um, anyway, this is one book that I have had to look up so many words in. Like, I've read a lot of books, and I consider myself to be relatively well-read, um, but holy cow. I am looking up words constantly. I just have, like, the Google definition thing all set up for myself because I don't know a lot of words. Like, parley? Duplicity? Ugh. It's really interesting, though, and honestly, I love that I'm learning these new words. It's so cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm loving this book right now. It's, I mean, I just started. I've only read two chapters, but I'm already loving it. I definitely wasn't going to film me doing my monologue because it's literally me just crying um, <laughs> and looking like a crazy person talking to myself. So that is not, that's not what we we're going to do today. So I did not film that, but I just finished going over my monologue. It took about 25 minutes. 
Um, and now I am going to make a plan for tomorrow. Just all the things I need to do, schedule, that kind of stuff, just to really keep me on track. I don't make a set schedule every single day, but I definitely like to do so for Mondays, just so that way I can feel that nice, strong start to the week. I have a good feeling about this week because I've started off strong getting a ton done today, so usually that kind of momentum really perpetuates um, me to keep going forward and, you know, just carry on with the rest of the week. Also, I'm so sorry that this lighting uh, makes me look like a glowing ball of light. Um, I'm just so pale that any light hits my face and I just... Pff, white ball of light. Sorry about it. After taking my break, I went ahead and I started to cut down my essay because I had written eight and a half pages and it needed to be between four and five pages. So the biggest thing I needed to do was find giant paragraphs where I could cut and then once I find some giant paragraphs to cut, then I look for smaller sentences and then once it gets down to the nitty gritty, I'll look for singular words to cut. Once I've cut everything, then I can add in-text citations. And then once I finish all the in-text citations, I'll also work on my final references page, the title page, all of those little nitty-gritty things. Update, I ended up spending 15 extra minutes on this, um, more than I thought I would initially. And yes, it is true. And one day I have written an entire essay. And on the references page, I still need to go over it for some of the in-text citations, and I'm still this much over. However, I might just take the loss because I really enjoyed going in depth and I don't really want to have to compromise content to fit the page limit when I'm literally just a half page over. So, I don't know. We'll see. That is for tomorrow to figure out. I have like an hour and 45 minutes tomorrow to look over it, which should be plenty of time because I'm not changing the content. It's just checking to make sure all my in-text citations are correct and cutting down if I can. So, woohoo! I'm done with the essay. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me and I'll see you in the next one. For the rest of the night, I'm going to call Drew, write some letters maybe, and that's about it. So, see you later. Bye!